Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Wei Yi and Zhao Jianchao. This is the game from Dan Zhao Chess Tournament that was played in 2013. Dan Zhao is a city in China. In this game, Wei Yi had white pieces and he started with e4. Zhao Jianchao played c5, Sicilian defense, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, defending the pawn, a6, bishop to e3, e6, white to move. Wei Yi played f3, preparing g4 indicating that he wants to play English attack. b5, black is starting the pawn storm on the queen side. Queen to d2, knight from b to d7, g4, b4 is black faster. Knight from c to e2, h6, and way he bravely castled the queen side. Note that black pawn on b4 is under attack. But Zhao Jianchao didn't defend the pawn, he played queen to c7. Should white take or not? Wei Yi played h4. Not taking the pawn. If Queen takes on b4, d5, attacking the queen. Black would be happy to play on the queen side. We have h4, d5, e takes on d5, knight takes on d5, knight to f4, knight takes bishop, queen takes knight, queen to e5, white to move. Should white exchange the queens or not? Wei Yi played queen to d2, keeping the queens on the board. If queen takes on e5, knight takes on e5, and it is about equal. Perhaps I even like better black position. Okay, in the game we have queen to d2, bishop to c5. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Why to move? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Wei Yi played knight to f5. Brilliant move. Black to move. Zhao Jian Chao castled kingside. If pawn takes knight, then bye bye queen. Pinning and winning the queen. So we have a castling. Why to move? How would you continue now? Well, the threat is now pawn takes knight. Your move, you have white pieces. I will show you one move that doesn't work. Then black would be winning with bishop to e3. Wei Yi played rook to e1, attacking the queen and defending e3. Queen to b8. White knight on f5 is still on the attack. Can you find the best square for the knight? Or perhaps, please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Did you find this move? This is what Wei Yi played. Black to move. Black considered king takes knight and played b3. If king takes knight, then knight to h5 check, king to g6, bishop to d3 check, blocking, then rook takes on e6 check, rook to f6, bishop takes on f5, and you get the picture. So, we have b3, a takes on b3, Queen to b4, trying to exchange queens again. c3, queen takes on b3. f and g to h5, 
Rook to b8, Knight to d3, defending the pawn on b2 and threatening queen takes pawn on h6. Bishop to a3, adding one more defender. Bishop to b7, white to move. Queen takes on h6 is also winning. Ray he played super safe, king to b1. Bishop takes on f3, queen takes on h6, threatening checkmate. Queen takes on c3, defending g7 square. White played a move and black resigned. The move is rook to e5. Black resigned in view of rook takes on b2 check. Rook takes rook and black has no sensible way to continue the game. One line, just for entertainment, goes like this. Queen takes rook, then a knight takes queen. Bishop to e4 check. King to e2 threatening, king takes bishop. Bishop takes rook, then king takes, just kidding. Queen to g7, check, mate, very nice attack by Wei Yi, what do you think of this game? And that is all, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video, I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.